Hello, and this will be an exactly tutorial on how to fix the black screen and your alt tab when you launch or on startup in Valorant. Now, do you want to fix this problem? Then I have a few solutions. So the first thing that we're gonna do is of course close down Valorant. When you've done that, then type services right here. Services, open it up. And now you need to look for VGC. Now, once you've found VGC, right click on it and click on properties. Now, startup type, change this one to automatic, click apply, then click start. If it's done, click on okay and close this down. Now, if this didn't fix the issue, then we're gonna try another thing. What you can do is when you're in the black screen, you need to either type F11 or Alt and Enter at the same time. So Alt plus Enter at the same time or F11. Now, if this doesn't fix your black screen, then here's the third solution. You want to go to your Valorant and then you want to right click and click on Open File Location. Then go to Riot Games, go to Valorant, go to Live. And then on Valorant.exe, right click, click on Properties, go to Compatibility and then Enable uh, administrator and disable full screen optimization. Click on apply, click on OK, and then you can close this down. Now we're going to type in the windows and we're going to type percent app data percent and you're going to fi find this folder. Open it up and then go to uh, app data, click right here and then go to local. Open this up. Now you need to search for Valorant. So just type V and double click on Valorant, saved and then while holding while holding control Press on config and web cache and then press on delete. If you've done that, you can close it down and check if Valorant works. Now, let's say that it doesn't work, then I have another solution. And this is that you need to search for environment. Edit the system environment variabilities. If this opens up, then go to here, click on it. Now, under system variables, click on new. And then you need to type the following that is in the description. The file name needs to be this and the value needs to be this. Click on OK and then it should be done. Now, if all these steps didn't work, then unfortunately, I think you have to uninstall Valorant and reinstall it again. If you would like to do this, just go to your control panel, open it up, go to uninstall program and then search for Valorant either on the top or manually and then click on uninstall. I hope this video helped you and it fixed your problem and I'd say thank you for watching.